and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here welcome i'm mallory and in today's video we will be doing part two of the hershey's kisses glam light collaboration collection in the first video we reviewed this one right here this was the milk chocolate and almonds palette i will put the card somewhere up here and down in the description box below because i prefer if you watch it after this so this is the one that we will be reviewing today this is the hershey's cookies and cream palette this one is so pretty. I already forgot how we open these. They're pretty tricky. So this is the all blue palette. So I put on my blue shirt today so I would match with it. It's so cute. I don't have an all blue palette myself. So this is why I chose to keep one of these because in the previous video, I did tell you guys that there are five of these palettes all together and two of them will be given away. So if you missed out on that giveaway, I will link it in the description box below for you. Watch it later. So before we get into this video, make sure that you subscribe, like this video, and there will be another giveaway entry within this video. So make sure that you watch it all the way through so that you can get entered into the giveaway again. In addition to the palettes, there will be many, many more things. We have lashes, brushes, all kinds of things. So in the fourth video, I will let you know which two palettes I'm giving away in addition to all the other things and i'll give you a deadline on that giveaway and when i'm going to announce the giveaway winner so make sure that you go back to that first video after this one make sure that you get all your giveaway entries in so that you have the best chance at winning this this collection of of things that i'm going to give you the collection of things so without further ado let's get right into the video so of course packaging is very cute the first one is so so cute the milk chocolate but i really love this blue because it's like a I don't know, like a pastel baby blue. I just love it. It's so cute to me. In the last video, we only did one eye look on both eyes, but I really like the way that these shimmers look. So I feel like I'm gonna do two on this video. So we're gonna use both of these shimmers as a lid shade, and then the other two is like cream color. So let me grab a brush. So the first brush that we are gonna use, this is the Morphe Nyan FF3 brush. It's a fluffy blender. I swear I cleaned this off, it still looks dirty. It's just stained. Okay, so the first shade we are going to go into, we're going to go into this one right here, this light blue. I feel like I probably won't like the way that this color looks on me just because it's so like pastel. And I think if you guys are familiar with my channel, we don't really like pastels on my eyes, but we'll do it today. Okay, so I'm just going to take that shade and put it into my crease. First impression, super bright, super pigmented. I love whenever there's a pastel in the palette and it actually shows up the same color and it just doesn't look ashy on your skin. That is ideal. So because I think I'm gonna use this um, shade first on the other side, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on there. So far so good, very minimal fallout. Okay, see, this is why I don't really like these kind of shades on I me. Mean, it just looks weird, but it's fine though because we're not gonna keep it like this for long. Let's go ahead and move on to, we're gonna move on to this blue shade right here. This one is very, very pretty. It's like a true like cobalt blue, kind of like my shirt that I got on. I'm just gonna start to pack this one into the crease and blend it into that baby blue that we have. Not detecting any fallout from this shade, that is, a blessing it's usually so pigmented and just so hard to get out once you get it in so the less fallout the better i am going to go back in to that first pastel blue shade and bring that up a little bit to bring some of that color back i do want to be able to see both shades in this look now i'm going back into that the first blue wow so so pretty oh my goodness that is beautiful and still i'm not seeing any fallout look love to see it love to see it next i'm going to go into this shade right here this deep blue and this is one of the bh cosmetics this is from the doja cat collection brushes doesn't have a number on there it's just like a smaller shader brush okay so we've got a little bit of fallout from this shade did give us just a tiny bit, not too much. It's giving patchy in a certain spot. Trying to see if I can like get rid of that. Okay, so there's like one spot. I don't know if you guys can really tell, but like right here, it's just like very, very patchy. And like, it's like all right here. I don't know if it's like something that I 
have done wrong to wrong this color but it's just like not it's like a really dark like blend right there hmm I'm assuming just because that's like the crease of my eye maybe that's why it's doing it like where my eye folds that has to be it right because I mean the way it looks on camera it looks amazing like the colors are blended out so nicely but up close it's like I mean I'm gonna cut the crease anyway but still it's just like kind of patchy that's kind of cute right there like if I just blended that down but we're gonna use these shimmer so I'm not gonna leave it like that but so far so good on these colors you guys I think that yeah I think that this is looking really really good I'm gonna go ahead and do the crease color on this side as well I didn't already dirtied up the palette we just opened it today it's already dirty okay so on this side we are going to move on to this shade right here I this is more like a denim blue so I feel like it's more of like a Kind of more quiet than the other ones. The other ones are loud. Now this shade is very pretty though. Like going on, I wasn't expecting that. I'm going to get back in with that baby blue first. Bring that up again. This this palette is pretty impressive. It's very very impressive. I love a good blue shadow, and this is like giving us all the blues, all the blues that we deserve. Oh my goodness, like that is looking very, very pretty. I was expecting this color to be a little darker, but I'm kind of glad that it's not. I love the shade that it's giving. So far though, this side is my favorite. It's just like, it's just, I like, I wanna look at this side and pay attention to what the colors are doing, but I just can't because this side is just like, bomb. So this side, it does give us a, we do have a bunch of fallout here. We do have more fallout than the other side. Yeah, this blue wasn't as intense, but I could tell that just from looking at the palette. So there's that, but this one does seem a little less patchy than the other one did. So that's a good thing. So it's lacking in excitement, but the pigment is staying on. So. so it's a trade, it's a trade, but so far not my favorite out of the palette. Let's go ahead and move on. I think we're gonna just go back into this dark blue. I feel like we really don't have much of much of another option. So we're gonna go back into this dark blue and we are gonna blend that into the crease again on this side. Kinda deepen it up. I feel like the dark blue looks are my favorite. So I'm wondering if this dark blue shade is the one that's like giving us the patchy. I feel like it is. Okay, so yeah, it was definitely the dark blue that's like giving patchy. I was kind of thinking these looks, these eyes would come out looking the, exactly the same, but because of the, because of the way that this blue looks, this side is looking still more intense. This one is kind of dull out of the bunch and this one is just like, favorite blue so far is the middle one right there. So you ready for that fell out, girl? Oh my gosh. Fella is so bad on this side. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the crease on both sides so that we can move on to these lid shades. I'm super excited about the lid shades. So I'm gonna cut up my crease off camera and then we'll be back with the lid shades. Okay, so the crease is cut. I'm really excited to use these shades, but I do wanna add an extra lid shade just cause I don't want it to be like just totally blue. So we're gonna dive back into the Milk Chocolate and Almonds Hershey's Kisses palette. I wanted to keep it within the collection, but I did wanna add an extra shade. Also, I wanna give you guys your second bonus entry your second bonus entry is to list down below if you're new to my channel you may not remember what i did ask you guys a while back if you guys would be interested in some of the palettes that i've used once before so like palettes that i've used and reviewed and it's not that i didn't like them i just don't ever really use them ever again so i'd be open to giving them away to you guys if you want them so in the comment section below just let me know do you want all new or new and used if you win the giveaway so just write new or new and used and literally that's it for your second bonus entry also if this is your first time hearing about the giveaway like you're not new to, like you didn't watch the last video make sure that you are subscribed also um the more subscribers that we have here the more that we can grow the channel the more giveaways i can give you guys whenever there's more support on the channel so it's a win-win for everybody everybody's winning so let's get back to the eye this was the milk chocolate palette we're gonna use this gold on the lid because i don't want my lids to just be all blue so we're gonna go in with this we're gonna do like a little bit of like 
kind of like in the inner corner, but a little bit out so that it's not completely just blue. I don't want to be too much. And this gold is like very extra. So we're going to put it on the blue side that was like extra so it could be extra, extra. Okay, so yeah, that's plenty. Now we're going to go into this blue shade right here. I feel like this one would complement it the best. This one looks like it has like more like subtle undertone. So it's going to go on the subtle side. We want extra on this side. So we're going to take this blue right here. And this is a Luxie 209 brush, a large shader that I'm using. This blue right here can best be described as like a mermaid blue, like a mermaid teal. I love it. And now I'm going back in. I just mixed the the blue, the middle blue that we used and the darker blue for this outer corner to kind of blend that out. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. Now I'm looking at it, I kind of feel like it probably would have been fine if I just used this one shade all over my lid. But we're in too deep. It's too late now. <laughs> It's too late now, you guys. We've got to move on to the other side. So, so far, so good. This shimmer is beautiful. We do have a lot, a lot of fallout that just appeared, but the color in itself is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It just like, it shines. It shines so well. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the other side. From the Milk Chocolate Collection, we're gonna use this rose gold shade right here. Can I just make it like rush home? Okay, and then we're gonna use that last shimmer, this one right here. I feel like this one and the rose gold would complement each other because I don't have a silver really. These shimmers are so, so creamy. That color is beautiful too. My God, Glam Light, this blue palette is just giving life. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add lashes and liner and we'll come back and talk about our final thoughts and finish the eye look. Okay, so this is how it looks with lashes. We are gonna go ahead and add a under eye shade. So honestly, the my least favorite part about these palettes are how you open them, like the least favorite. Cause it's like, you gotta do this thing right here. It's like, it's just too much work. It's like, why, why is it so hard to open you? So I'm gonna take this shade right here, the darkest one, and this is a Morphe Nyan FF5 brush. We're gonna take that dark blue right there, and we're just gonna dab that underneath our eyes. Okay, so last but not least, we are going to add one of these lip colors. So remember I told you two of these would be going into the giveaway. Um, I'm trying to figure out which one I want to use. In the last video, we did use this one. This was the um, special dark one and it came out like, I thought it was a lip gloss, but no girl, it was a like full on like color. It was dark brown. So I feel like, hmm. I feel like I'm gonna have to go with this one, y'all. So I was thinking this one was super cute and it was just probably gonna go with one of y'all, but so these are the two shades that I'm gonna be giving away. These are very, very pretty shades, very versatile. So yeah, that's what you get in. I'm gonna keep these two. So we're gonna go ahead and use this golden right here. I, I'm excited to see how this one looks with the gold glitter. Oh, it's definitely like, I definitely had a gloss on before, but this is definitely giving like shine, like shining. Love it, love it. So that's what this one is like. I think if if it, if all of them are giving pigment, this one is just giving gloss. So love to see it. So overall, the Cookies and Cream Hershey's Glam Light Palette. I do love this one. The blue, the all blue. I really do feel like. This one is a really good palette. Now the dark blue, it was kind of patchy in some places, but that also could be because of like, that's where my eye crease. And I know that normally whenever I put my primer, my eyeshadow primer, it does like chunk up in certain places. So maybe that's what it is. I'm not really sure, but it, I would have to say, I think that this is a great palette. So if you made it this far in the video or you like just scrub through and you missed the giveaway entry, make sure that you go back 
and make sure that you get that giveaway entry. I will put the card up here again for you guys to be able to go and enter that giveaway and see that first video with the Glam Light Hershey's Kisses with Almonds, that first palette that we reviewed. And make sure that you're subscribed with your bell notifications on so that you do not miss the next video with the next bonus entry and the fourth video with the giveaway items, all of them. Everything that's going in the giveaway and the deadline and when the winner will be chosen. So thank you guys so much for watching and you will see my face in the next one.